<laughs> For the last governance meeting, the sound doesn't start until 25 minutes in. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> this whole, like, not taking notes thing has royally failed both times. <laughs> so, I'm going to say that's a failed experiment no, I'm of pretty not sure. taking notes. <laughs> no, it's definitely a failed experiment. Mm -hmm. I'm on your side here. I guess we have to take notes to uh, have a working video, huh? It's like, it's like if you bring an umbrella, it won't rain, you know? Yeah. It's not <laughs> only about that, like, only if we make it uh, as, a no as notes, um, Google can index it. So it's the only way that this content is actually found by people, because people are not watching the videos, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Google will index it? What do you mean? Well, if it's if it's typed, Google can read words, but Google still has no algorithms to analyze videos in a way that what's said there. So if you look at, if you Google governance experiment, there is a chance you could land in our notes, you know? Oh, I see, I see. Or you Google Lumio and you see, oh, those guys are active on Lumio, whatever. Like, it's just the making more of a... It's... Um, I think it's showing the work we're doing better than the videos. Yep, for sure. Yeah. That's a great argument. Yeah. I like the idea that somebody would find us that way by Googling random. I, I'm very sure at least one person did. And some people, some, I mean, people show up in uh, contributors or something and say something like that, like they found. Usually they find Reddit or Medium article, but it's true. I really just wish it didn't have to take someone out of the meeting, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe it could become more of a dedicated role for people who are, like, in the early stages, you know? Sort of, maybe, kind of a And there, there was another thing that we should incentivize it more, like uh, that the note taker gets gets uh, whatever points or something, go governance points. Yeah. Well, in any case, Josh loves taking meeting notes, but he also always does it written on paper. So if we just ask him to do it typed, then it's done because he does it anyways. Uh huh. That's amazing. I'll ask him. I'll send him the um, the template and the pack MD and see if he wants to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Email. <coughs> hey, um, yeah. So I uh, I just wanted to share that I had kind of a crazy day. I spent um, most of it like keeping my guts out. Uh, <laughs> on a very, very choppy scuba diving boat. Um, and so I'm like barely recovering and being a human being again. Um, so I feel like on my end, this is going to be a little bit of like a, just going through the motions. This meeting is what I can show up for. <laughs> um, but I, I do want to want to share with you guys to come into this into this unicorn commitment meeting space out of our right? And thinking about Danny's meeting today, meeting today my heart was getting pretty excited and I just I feel like it is such a treasure to have this beautiful, like, badass work partner, play sister, life friend, all of a sudden in Giveth, and, um, and like, Danny, you and I have this beautiful story together of, like, what was it, like, five or six years ago? I ended up at your beautiful farm property in Snohomish um, and started coming there a lot. And, and from the first time I set foot on our sacred acres, it was like 
a total manifestation of things I had been asking for and dreaming about that I never thought would even come to reality. And, um, and we shared so many projects and, and travel experiences over the years of hopping in a car together to drive down to California all of a sudden to go to a global justice conference and like start new initiatives and <laughs> just doing this and that and like tackling these amazing <laughs> heal the world um, projects together. Um, and I just feel so understandably lucky that you are coming into this and you might be here. And it makes it feel more like home for me, you know, having um, you my magic mama as a part of it. Um, yeah, I'm excited for Chris and Kai and all of you guys that I truly love to get to experience this person as well, treasure that she is. So yeah, I'm just like coming into this this particular unicorn meeting so I'm so grateful for like having all of you and getting to share that. Um, and we can uh, we can move on to going through the motions of this meeting, but I'll, I'll let you guys, since I just spieled a little bit, if you want to check in briefly, um, I'll just say where you at. Um, hi, do you want to check in? Um, yeah, sure. Um... So um, I'm also, I, I think it's great to have Dani here. It's uh, so interesting to onboard like our, one of our newest uh, giveth uh, unicorns as a unicorn in a unicorn DAC. Wow, a lot of words there. And uh, I, I want to meet her more. <laughs> I just, uh, we met at DEFCON and it was super fun. And um, um, I don't want to go on like really long because I think uh, Dani actually has some uh, important things uh, to do uh, on the side. So we'll just say uh, I'm happy everybody could uh, come together here and I'm very happy to welcome uh, Dani to this, to this group and um, I hope for many many events to share together and laugh and have fun. I give it to Chris. Yeah, um, also going to try to keep it short, which is always a challenge for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, also, it's, um, I, I agree with, with what Kai says. It's, it's really, really nice to have Danny with us. Um, it's, um, it's, it's, it's very interesting to see someone coming on board that is actually pretty new to 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 give it but at the same time fits in so extremely well because yeah Danny you 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 are very good at explaining how you see a situation but you're also an extremely hard worker that gets the stuff done and I appreciate that so much and you have a very strategic vision um, and to me you're also more like the thing we talked with some people about like having initiators and maintainers you're also a maintainer you make sure that the things get done and I appreciate that so much because um, we need like that that balance and give it it's very important to make an organization work and a community work um, and yeah, yesterday in the call we saw it again. Um, like, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But we had a great call yesterday, and then again, it shows how great it is to have Danny with all her connections and background that fits in so well with everything we do. So thank you, thank you, and I'm honored to be here today. And I give it to Lorelai again, I guess. Well, Danny, do you want to check in at all? <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, first, um, I'm, I'm just honored and grateful and humbled by all of you as well. Um, thank you, Lorelai, for being here with me on all of this journey. I, I, thank, I thank Creator and the universe for 
all of the angels that ever came into my life and are sometimes we go off and we go do our own things in the world but there's so many of us that i absolutely believe came to this planet at this time with a very specific purpose and we're all doing our own bits and we all move through life to gather the experience and the skills um, that help us be ready to work with one another on that purpose when the time is right and it feels like that time is right for us to be coming together right now and I'm grateful for all that you all have done and gone through to be here at this time the people that you are that we are able to do this beautiful thing together oh thank you um well Danny you just began to talk about it a little bit there um but but let's go into this question really um of what what's your life trajectory and and how does working here at giveth um fit with what you want to be your gift and your duty in the world it's really fun because that meeting that i had yesterday with chris just brought that all into clarity so beautifully for me because I, mean, I think back about I'm thinking it was about nine years ago and I had a major psychedelic experience <laughs> and suddenly looked at the world that I was living that I was building and actively giving my energy to in the corporate world and realizing that it was all an illusion and that I had bought into that illusion and there was something else that we needed to work on um, and at that time, I made dramatic changes in my life that led me to a, a community of people to help with that. And that community at the time was the Evolver Network. And I started building community through the, this network and also my work with um, seeking out more feminine role models and wisdom in my life because I'd been in a very masculine role and industry for so long. And... I realized how much I needed to give, that I found my joy in giving. And I actually created a persona and a, a an association for, literally it was the giveaway goddess. And I was looking for how to help people give more to realize that that's how we receive what we need. And from that moment on, everything that I've done and worked on has been to find out how best to give all that I am and all that I have. And as I learned more, I also learned that it was equally important to, um, <clears throat> to do that in a way that helped other people see <clears throat> that giving is uh, what's been taken away from us, that our ability to just be who we are and give that to the world has been given away and I was benefiting from that and I had the privilege and power in the place that I was in my life um, to have an even greater impact and to find ways to give back and give forward. Um, coming full circle all the way around to where I am now looking at all the organizations and actions that I have been in service to part of that search um, was to connect back to technology to connect nature and humanity um, through technology and for years I was searching for the technology that would help facilitate bringing together people who have things to offer with those who need it most and that's why I worked with Evolver, and that's why I've worked with New Mundo. And I see these technologies developing and these amazing young people who get it, who really get that. And all of a sudden, just this last year, when I met back up with Griff and Lorelei and started really understanding more about what this blockchain thing is, I realized that that was the piece, and it's here. So... Um, it was very easy to see this be my purpose, that finding the right technology that bridges people and their gifts to make the world a better place through technology and using the technology that we now have available that connects us all around the world in this mission. It's a very, very powerful thing, and I want to use all of my power 
um, to bring it into the place that it it fulfills that mission, and therefore I get to fulfill my mission. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're you're definitely a community person, a connector, and and your trajectory is is aligned in all these ways. Um, can you can you talk a little more about your like really specific skill sets? Um, like how and how those fit into uh, like both this mission that you have personally and also fit into what you're doing. Sure. What are in the, what's in the Danny tool belt? Oh, wow. That's really fun because I think you probably know that that's one of my metaphors is that's what I'm doing in the world is gathering tools to put into my tool belt and learning how to use them, but also learning um, that it's really important to recognize what's the right tool for the job and be able to reach into your tool belt and find that particular tool. So the first part of my life working in corporate America gave me an amazing skill set of project management and planning and design all the way through implementation and execution on that vision. And more importantly, the piece that I learned through not only that, but then in taking it into community building on the ground through permaculture and building action actions that um, create change in the world. The most important tool that I've found is the team building aspect of that, of being able to connect with individuals and hear their dreams, what they want to work on, and then what skills they need and connecting all of that together. So building teams and helping people understand that we're all working on the same thing and that we each have our own skills and tools to use and finding how we can build teams that are happy using the skills that they have, finding places to develop new skills to do the next things that they work on and somehow managing to organize all of that and see how it all connects and fits together. Um, that's probably the main piece that I feel like I'm carrying with me all the time. Um, <clears throat> The fact that I have been working with um, global networks um, allows me to really see um, how to organize data, how to constantly be taking in information from different places and seeing how it fits and categorizing it, um, getting that bit of information over to the next person who can use it to carry that forward. Those are the skills that I enjoy using and have practiced really well and can usually reach into my tool belt and pull out whichever one's necessary. I kind of think of myself like a mushroom, an adaptogen, um, coming in and seeing and feeling what is needed and then finding who has that and helping them facilitate using it. Adaptogen. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you've always like with Lumio and Strapole and like Asana and like all these all these like team organization tools. I always have felt like you know a million for every different possible, uh, function you would be looking for. It's fun because I've when I go into Lumio, I have probably twelve different projects in there from the last from when they started. I know the folks who started Lumio, and we was have I've been looking for the right tool for the job all the time, seeing these jobs. So I've played with a lot of them, and I was thrilled that you guys were using that one in particular because I think the decision making part and the open transparent ways of reaching those decisions is what has caused so many initiatives to fail in the past. So having these tools in place gets us so much further ahead for having learned from that. For sure. Um, I want to call out a skill of yours that I know you have that I think hasn't been as visible in our give us space. Maybe Chris and Kai don't even know that much about it, but, but that you are such a writer and a storyteller um and i know that you've already been writing in, uh like in-depth stories of like your experience with giveth and 
And I think it's easy to tell that you kind of have that um, personality just in the way that you interact in chats and stuff. But um, for everybody to know, especially your advocates, your uncles here, to know also you have like these other skills, you know, some someday down the road you might be writing more articles or or being sort of a soap person um, oh but I do know it very well it's how I um, got to know Danny because I read some of her posts in the beginning she uh, wrote a little bit about giveth and um, I was like ooh this is an interesting approach I want to get to know that lady <laughs> <clears throat> thank you Lorelai it's something I've been thinking about in these last couple of days as I look at the different roles that I've taken on so far, that it's very easy for me to jump into what's needed. And a lot of what's needed is the, the more technical side of this, like producing documentation and instructions and, um, <clears throat> and learning how to use the tool so that I can communicate that to users. And I have to admit, as I've been pondering this and preparing for this meeting, I've kind of been realizing that some of the things that are that I've taken on in my own scope are probably things that as we grow together, I would want to hand those to other contributors so I could actually focus on more of that overarching storytelling and soapbox role. Cool. Good, good notes to have and maybe um, that will start to be represented on the roll sheet a bit, maybe not this month, but maybe over the next couple months you'll start to just kind of note in there on those roles you know like working on making this really clear for others to pick up pieces of this role mm -hmm. um, you know, hopefully that's an easy goal for um, increasing that process mm -hmm. um, I think it's worth mentioning at that 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 is something that I have traditionally um, been doing is finding a job, something that needs to be done and knowing that I can get that done and doing it to show here's how, how this is possible and can be done and really creating jobs that somebody else can then step into because I'll want to move on to something else once I've got that mastered and create a pathway for others to be able to come in with a clear role that they can step into. Yeah, for sure. That's a great, um, that in itself is a great role to play. <laughs> yeah, put. Um, okay, cool. Um, I, so I want to ask Kai and, and Chris, I think I'll ask you guys one at a time. Um, just a couple questions about being a, a sponsor and advocate for Danny. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we have these definitions of your interaction as sponsors, right? That you, that you know her work well, um, that you uh, interact with her roles in some ways, um, that you hear her intention and her commitment. Uh, and I think that you guys definitely know her work. You've heard her commitments. Um, but I'm curious, like, okay, uh, I'll ask Chris first. Um, how, how is it that you interact with Danny's roles? And, like, how do you see yourself being um, sort of like a checking point for, for success? Um, sorry, did you, could you repeat the last part of the question? Because you have like ping pong 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 in the background all the oh, time. Oh, sorry. I wonder <laughs> if I can turn that off. I don't know how to. Up corner, yeah. Notifications. Uh -huh. Scroll up. You're not disturbed. Oh, nice. That is valuable. Okay. Um, I I was asking, how do you interact with Danny's roles, and how do you see yourself being like a check-in 
person, you know, a point of checking in for like success and efficiency with her work? Um, well, I think a lot of the things that Danny is focusing on are, well, most of it even is, is communication linked because it's, it's about the community and it's onboarding the community. So I think we will be thinking on a regular basis, um, and we have been. Um, and um, also the other part that I see as her role is um, helping um, Michael with like a long-term vision of, of the DAP and, and how this can like strategically evolve. Um, it's a thing I love also thinking about and um, and I see that Danny has this like strategic mind as well. So I think it's going to be, um, it, I think it will continue the way that we've been doing it now. And, and I think it's only going to increase to just sync and, and chat whenever needed um, for uh, this. Yeah. So I think, I think our, our, um, our roles, like, yeah, we, we will run in, into each other often anyways. And also, Danny is always in the comms meeting. So that's all, always also a, a great place to touch base. Cool. Sounds good. Hi. Um, <laughs> you want to speak to that? Yeah, so um, I, I really try to follow what Danny is doing uh, mostly by what she says, what is, like, what is in the chat. What is on Lumio? Um, also, um, for me, I think her biggest role is um, facilitating the onboarding of uh, external projects onto the DAP. And um, well, just from the, in the first weeks, she managed to actually onboard some. <laughs> so this is a very good indicator in my mind to just see that uh, things are starting to be there. Um, there is lots of work to be done and um, I'll be keeping up uh, mostly through this uh, um, because there are some other roles. Um, um, I, I don't have the convenience to like uh, spy on the role sheet now because I'm streaming and if I you know switch windows it's a... Uh, so I don't, I'm not so sure what's all up there but I just know that Dani in general does a lot. In general the whole... Uh, um, I see her doing uh, the, the reward DAO now, for example, which is, um, I mean, it's also in the realm of onboarding, but um, in that sense, Dani is like a typical unicorn uh, that we onboard here in that like she just grabs everything that interests her and she does it. And um, of course, people get overloaded in this and, and say, no, we, I need to uh, get rid of myself for this role. And I think it's a very important goal. It's one of the things that maybe makes you a unicorn in the first place. Like you need to be here to uh, be more involved, so people can, um, uh, so so you can uh, find a way with everybody to uh, automate whatever you were doing before, and maybe spread it out onto more people and more uh, uh, or shared responsibilities. Um, but uh, this question of like, how do we keep up with metrics or how can we define metrics for a person if we want to call it metrics? Uh, it's still, I will say it's still a hard one for me. It's not so much for Dani because she's very uh, vocal about what she does. And uh, so I will, that will be the answer finally to the question again. Uh, I just listen to Dani when she speaks and it's usually nice uh, to hear from her and her uh, elaborate, well-thought-out thoughts, or well and well-formulated <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer. I, I also don't think that this is about metrics. Um, I think it's just, you know, about the unicorn feeling successful in themselves and, you know, people feeling like they're getting what they need from everyone, which is so more about listening and paying attention and being connected rather than some numbers or whatever. Um, Danny, is there anything that you uh, specifically need or that really helps you out from like an advocate type role? Yeah, um, I can actually say that 
uh, I thought a lot about who to ask to be my uncles. <laughs> um, and Chris and Kai bring um, very important uh, reflections for me. Chris is somebody who is very vocal about noticing where something needs to change or be checked and is always able to speak that up. Um, I have a hard time getting feedback out of people. It's almost frustrating sometimes to ask, what do you guys think of this? And to constantly be just here, oh, that's great. It's perfect. You got it. I, I want more challenging thought. And I find and I don't always fully agree on things. And we get to dive in and explore the edges of that in a way that's comfortable um, and I, I can change my mind sometimes based on things that he shares with me. And, um, and I hope I've been able to be a reflection like that in some way for him too sometimes. So I really, really value the role that Chris has and, and I need someone like that in, as a support person. And wow. with Kai, he, <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> um, and with Kai, um, <clears throat> My, I feel like I can always go to Kai when I have <clears throat> something that's a little more technical. Uh, there's a lot of things that when it comes to the um, functionality of how something works or how to use it, um, I know if I come to Kai with that, he's like on it. Kai, you're like right there. You like this with the CRM thing, having that thing set up and handed back to me, like that just blew my mind. Like I need that too. There's some things where I'm like, yeah, I can do it, but it's going to take me a really long time to figure it out. And having somebody that I can go to and say, hey, I'm thinking about this, but I just don't have the, the technical savvy and capacity to, to get it myself and that nor do I really need that sometimes so having somebody that I can go to on that side of it plus Kai your enthusiasm is just so infectious and it's always a pleasure to exchange with you so I feel really excited to get to work with you both and I'm glad you're here for me Nice. Well, good choice on your sponsor. It sounds like you know just what you need. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now the really fun part. Have you read and do you agree to the advice process? Yeah, yes, I really appreciate that. Um, yes, that was one of the things that I was really happy about coming into Give It, that you guys had those pieces in place. Um, I'm all about the reinventing organizations, as you know, so. Yeah. Did you actually know about the book before um, coming oh, yes. around the give? Yeah, yeah, it's very popular in communities, permaculture, intentional community world, and also yeah. collaborative workspaces, like projects, like, yeah, I've, so I've been around that quite a bit. That makes sense. Okay, how about the mission statement? Yeah. Yes, I have, and I do. <laughs> the, the manifesto. The the manifesto. Mani shouldn't there be an S on that, the manifestos? <laughs> that is a trick yeah, question. Wow. You passed it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, the conflict resolution model. Yeah, yes. Um the roles process i have participated in the roles process have you read the i mean you know it pretty well but there's also a roles process document that you technically are supposed to agree to <laughs> i feel like i have but i'm going to click on the link just oh yeah 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 mm -hmm. um the milestone tutorial that's super outdated <laughs> yeah right yeah every time we have a unicorn onboarding meeting I'm like okay yeah when do we get to update that <laughs> that's, a, um, that's one of my thorns is all the stuff that needs to be updated I'm like yeah, yeah. prioritization yeah. of where to be your best use my energy is always something I have to go oh, I want to do that but <laughs> just so you know Josh is updating like 
20 documents at the same time on the wiki. He's writing with all the feedback I've give, given. So do know that someone's on it. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. Um, okay, have you presented your roles uh, in a roles meeting format? I have. I've also added a new one since that time, but we have another roles meeting coming up. Oh, good. And um, what do you guys think about an evaluation meeting? Does three months sound good? Three months in the future? March would be ideal. March. That's like, yeah, it's basically three months, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Early March. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd almost, I'm going to say mid to late March because I'm going to be in Costa Rica the whole month of February and first month of March, so. But. Awesome. Thank you for the specific timing. I'm noting it in your sheet. Okay. This is good. Okay, um, let's see. Do we need to do anything else? Ah. I don't know, Danny. Looks like all you're waiting for now is a vote on Lumio, which I will make in the in the unicorn thread. Yeah, I'm looking at phase four. I think the only thing I need to do there still is just after the vote, add myself to list of unicorns. I think I've got everything else. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, I haven't seen this. Oh, actually, list of unicorns. Is this the? Did you edit this mm -hmm. from the verified addresses? So nice, thanks, babe. Okay, Griff made us a new, more relevant verified addresses doc. Uh, so I was just stumbling over the wiki a little bit there because it's different now. Um, Danny, you're almost a unicorn! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, if my mom's sleeping or I'd jump up and do a little dance and sing for you. <laughs> oh, you're your mom's? Yeah, I am. Today is I'm jumping in the car in a couple hours to go back to Tennessee um, for my grandson's first Christmas concert. <laughs> Wait, he's in the concert? Yes, he's singing Christmas songs for sc at school tomorrow night, so I got to get up there for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. That sounds good. I'm hoping I can fit all these presents in the car. My mom and I, we're... Um, we're collectors. We've been going to auctions and things, and we have way too much stuff. I might have to strap some things on the top of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like quite the picture. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sweetness. <clears throat> okay, cool. Um, man, you guys made me feel a lot better and lifted me out of my bodily slump a little bit. I appreciate all your spirits. <laughs> this is a very lovely way to start the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, Kai, I, I actually noticed now that I'm looking at this uh, verified unicorn addresses thing that you've got this 701 address on there, but I hope it's okay. I just made a milestone for you at the address that starts with a nine, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure you picked out another one, the one with a zero. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I, I'll, I'll check it, yeah, i check it. Okay, yeah, make sure it's good because I wasn't, there was kind of a lot of addresses for you. I wasn't sure which one to choose. <laughs> Okay, cool. Hey, Lorelai. So when, yeah. I, when I click the link to this, uh, the Team Unico Un Organization Unicorn DAC page, 
after I scroll past the members, talks about giveth governance meetings on Fridays. On Fridays? That's what it says. Ha, it used to be I'm that. I'm imagining things. No, no, that's, that's <laughs> from quite a while back that we had it on Friday. We changed it to, to Thursday. And now mm. we changed the name. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's this one thing that needs to be updated. Left here for fun. <laughs> Cool. Neat. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I was actually wondering about that page because <laughs> I, I was I was going to delete it and then I saw it was a recent one. But what's the use of having why why do you guys want to have that page on the wiki? In what sense is it useful for outsiders? Um I never Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've talked about having um, pieces of onboarding be on chain, especially like commitment type things. But yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do it, but I think it's a cool idea. <laughs> mm. Coming in with the technical consult here. <laughs> Um, Chris, are you, you're packing and heading off tomorrow? Is that right? Yeah, tomorrow evening. Nice. You guys have a lot to do probably to bundle everything up and be ready. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just like, uh, there were some last minute disasters in the house and, and oh, no. like, like workers who have been coming over every day and not getting a lot of sleep because of that and and then yeah just a lot of work <laughs> so I'm like a little bit and then finding cat sitters for a month which is not easy either so it's like a bit organizing a lot of shit but we're getting there <laughs> oh mm. well i hope that you can rest easy as soon as you're on that flight hope so too <laughs> Um, sweet. So are you guys all feeling good about your roles process for this week? Have you all updated your current projects and next actions? Um, that's still on my to do. I hope for today. If not, it will be tomorrow, but, um, I'll, I'll get to it before Thursday because Thursday I'll be flying. Oh, Okay. I did. I did. I did the updates on on my roles. I haven't gone through and done the voting thing for people yet, or the scale. Yeah, I figured it. I mean, it really helps to be able to vote kind of after people have done all the updates to their projects. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked people to do that last week. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I found out. Um, Still figuring things out in, in this process of facilitating that like oh yeah it's not really until I like give people like personal attacks like riot messages saying hey this column of this role on your spreadsheet is blank <laughs> yeah shame shame but I need shame once I started doing that I, d I did that for like almost everybody yesterday or the day before yesterday and like got such a response Amazing. but yeah um, please do, Kai, please, as soon as you can, so that people can properly vote, you know, as well. It's kind of... Oh, 
Okay, awesome. Hell yeah. Fuck no. I like that a lot. <laughs> Yeah, like, Greek, <laughs> Greek colors works for me as well. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. And what's great is people, is if it's just colors, people will uh, end up making middle ground colors just for fun anyway. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> cool. I was yeah. just going to say, can I use purple instead of red? <laughs> okay, now I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Structure. Come on, dude. Purple even sounds like perfect. No. It's about green versus purple right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And yes, I know it makes Chris's organizational consistency um, twitch a little bit. <laughs> so, oh yeah, but it's, it's good that 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 we mix it up once in a while. <laughs> it keeps me flexible. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Kai. Bye, Maya. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, she's looking so good. Oh my God, you're a human. You're not. A, you're not a little alien anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my mean? goodness. Mm -mm. It's all big. <clears throat> hey, can, I want to say um, something since I just saw Griff. I want to speak to you for a moment, Griff. Yeah. Um, I just want to tell you how much, how amazed over and over I am and delighted and grateful to see how you just so everywhere and so incredibly open whenever you see something to just speak it up. And I appreciate and value that so much. It's one of the big reasons why I just keep wanting to be here all the time because I know you see what needs to be done. You speak it up in a way that I can hear what you're telling me. I can see what you're doing. And um, I don't ever take anything personally. I value and appreciate so much every time you chime in and say something that you see that could use a little bit of work. I just want you to know that. Is that is this referring to the crypto Christmas thing? Everything, all the time. You're everywhere. I see you just show up in rooms, in spaces, in conversations, and you provide feedback or direction or say something you see that would be better or awesome and it's easy for me sometimes to um, to be self-critical and to say, man, I missed that. I should have been on it. And then I'm always able to turn it around and go, this is why I really love working with Griff and working with people who are attentive and who do see, see something and say something. Nice. Thanks, Danny. I don't know what, you, what you're mm -hmm. talking about, really, but thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Re I I also think sometimes like yeah, but I have a personal assistant. No, I don't believe it. It's like you're still everywhere. So you don't know what she's talking about. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> I have idea. Not sure. But anyway, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shall we close? Sign off. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Thank Adios. you. Good night, guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you soon, Chris. <laughs>